He can really send this up one. It will run up the green, I think, down Breeze. They're firming up nicely. It's going to be a wonderful weekend. Oh, got away with that one, Max. Good job. Coming off the ledge for the two thirds of the way up the green, I almost want to putt this. It's very difficult to get the judge from the first or second bounce. Thousands of people around this green. This is a wonderful group. Just trying to keep it right at that slope. Yeah, that was difficult. Paul Stenson. I'll give him a six out of ten for that. I think 139 for Stenson. It has to be looking left. This is very easy to push this right and catch that run off. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Pretty good result from Stenson. Excellent shot, actually. This is pretty straight. He's good at leaving straight ones as well. This is very makeable. Very nice. Very nice indeed. An early move from the Ryder Cup captain. Good par three, this. Good set of par threes for me. They're pretty difficult. He looks zoned in to me, Stenson, today. He does. Got the eyes today. All right, Adam. And you know, for all he's achieved, he's never won on the DP World Tour in Sweden. As I say, this is quite a tricky putt for me. Double break it's more one way than the other, so this is tough to really add and subtract. This is all about visualization, picking your point. Okay, that a lot of left to right there. Stenson. Touch the space, I think he got it. And two would for Stenson. He tends to favour the two would just purely for the lower ball flight in this sort of breezy condition. It's looking down the right also. Real good pin as well. 132, I make it. Difficult yardage, really. He's got a 52 degree and a pitching wedge, so be taking quite a lot off the wedge, I think. Thank you. Well, it should have been a two. Let's hope it's a three. A little bit of break from the right. It's not a gimme. Yeah. <laughs> he makes it. The blunder was around four under total. Really clever little hole, actually. Very easy to miss this one right, went down to the left. You just pick your target and stick with it. One forty one for Stenson, so perfect angle to attack this that left flag. Sure wedge got all the way back there, might even spin towards the hole, so you can certainly have a go at this. season wide stance very similar putting straight always had the same sort of style didn't let him down in 2016 did it yeah. slowly creeping closer to the leaders Henrik Stenson 
Bunkers left and right, but not really in play, I wouldn't have said. Chance here, the par five. It'd be great if Henrik could just keep this going through the back nine, see him in contention as well. Oh, oh I think he will. I think he'll keep going. He looks like he's uh, right on it today. Right hand pin, so just needs to be careful. Doesn't really want to short side himself. So short left is, is your play. Love it. Yeah. It's like a pitching wedge in his hand. And as I mentioned, very little in this. What a chance this is for an Eagle three. And the Ryder Cup captain moves into the top ten. It's 50-50 whether he chips this out. It's hard to tell. Deep, deep in the bag. Yeah, I like that after an Eagle. There's no point giving it away. You can still get up and down. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, not to be tempted. Stenson, dangerous shot there. It's a pitch is pretty much all the way. Just under the 70 yard mark, so just a nice swift one with a 54 degree. <laughs> Successful and below the hole. That's for par to come for Stenson. Whoa. This would be a, a well-worked par. It's a slow one. Got to hit this. Just outside left. He hit the par he wanted. Just misread it, Stenson. So really 170, I would say, is the mark. A little bit into the breeze. Barely a cloud in sight now. It's a stunning afternoon. Difficult, Henrik Stenson. He's got quite a good lie off the side slope, but he's just looking at a wall of green. Really, It'd be amazed if he leaves this short. Yeah. One, one skip and stop. I would have thought maybe pitching. Eight or ten feet short of this. He's always been pretty brave with a wedge in his hand. Yep, just as you said, Wally, one stop. Perfect shot. Plays some good of those, good ones of those this afternoon. No doubt a, a roll that Henrik Stenson will make his own. That's going to be oh. to Bertie. Par. Back into the breeze at 18. Quite a narrow tee shot for Stenson. Bunker down the right. Might just be in play into this breeze. Into the bunker, I think. Standard wedge, really. Nice clean lie. It's going to have a bit of spin on it. Green sits from back to front. Been a good day. He's played really well, actually. Could be the man to beat. Colin Fortuny knew that that would have a, a quite a bit of zip on it. Similar for Henrik Stenson, up the hill, slow on this. A couple of putts be a fantastic day, great finish. Get some rest and go again tomorrow, that's the nature of the job. Oh! It looked good. Excellent.
excellent round of golf. Lock, uh, lowest in a, in a while for Henrik Stenson. He'll tap in here for a 66. <laughs> the host is in with a chance. Fall back heading into the weekend. Wonderful round of golf this afternoon. Henrik, how pleased with that round of 66? Yeah, I managed to pick up the long game a bit from yesterday. Uh, I mean, it was certainly on the greens that, that kept me in the ball game yesterday. I putted nicely and I kept that up today as well. I made a lot of nice putts and um, certainly hit it a lot better and more solid. A uh, little wobbly coming in again and didn't hit the, the best of shots and did, didn't give myself enough chances on the last couple of holes here. But uh, all in all, pleased with the, with the progress and, uh, and a pretty solid round. He gave the Swedish locals plenty to cheer about today. Talk us through some of those key moments on the back nine. Yeah, I had a lovely wedge in on 10 and uh, made a putt from about six, seven feet, I think. And then on 11, a uh, really nice forward uh, up to about eight feet, uh, eight, nine feet for, for Eagle and made that one right in the middle as well. So, you know, those two really went from being somewhere treading water in the in the middle of the pack somewhere to kind of advancing and then uh, drop one on 12 but chipped in on 13 and made a good birdie on 14 so yeah all in all very pleased with the with the round bringing this event to the dp world tour with annika is it more important for you now that you've got yourself into the mix for the weekend yeah it's nice to be up there of course i've, I've had some good finishes in sweden over the years as the one of the tournaments that i certainly would like to win and haven't done so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Am I playing well enough? We'll, we'll see. But we, we're at least in, in with a small chance, and that's always going to be nice. And that's always a motivator not to, uh, not to uh, be too far off the leaders when, you, when you're there for the presentation on Sunday. And just finally, a word on your good friend Peter calling it a day on his career today. What's it been like playing with him the last two days? Yeah, it's been great fun. We uh, we share so many memories. We started at the same time, played junior golf, amateur golf together, and you know, touring the world and, and staying and sharing rental cars and hotel rooms all over the place. So uh, yeah, it's a long and successful career too. Part of two winning Ryder Cup teams and, and six wins on the uh, DP World Tour and, and some other really good finishes. So uh, yeah, I wish him the best in uh, in uh, in the life after professional golf. And uh, yeah, it was fun to be out with him and for him to be able to finish on, on home soil in front of uh, the home crowds is is, uh, is certainly cherry on the cake. Very well played. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.